Hey guys, Vitality here and welcome to episode 3 of the Duo Survival series. In the last episode we added a bunch of defenses to this base and we actually went on quite a few raids so we got a decent amount of profit. In today's video we're probably going to try and continue along the same sort of vein. I kind of need to do quite a bit of breeding to catch up. As you can see my tri mate Ace has just been going crazy up there. We got ourselves some car cars, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called but correct me if I'm wrong. Carcarodontosauruses with 235 melee, which isn't too bad, I don't think. And then, yeah, we just got a bunch of May Wings up there. Our Stego line is going pretty good as well. 6.5k HP. It's not the best by any means, but it's definitely getting the job done. Uh, so, yeah, to start this video off, I'm going to have to do quite a bit of breeding. I'm falling a little bit behind, and I definitely need to get some imprinted tames. So, yeah, I'm just looking for my Stego. I think this is it. Oh, no, that's Aces. We've also started prefabbing our next base because, yeah, as I said in the last video, we're going for Cluster Alpha. Gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I'm confident we can do it. I don't know why I'm checking the chem bench for my Stego. Don't know why it would have gone up there. I might breed up our Therry line as well. Not really any reason not to. The main base is kind of running out of space to do any notable breeding. As you can see, it's getting quite cramped up there. So yeah, I'm just gonna chuck out all of these tames up here and let them raise. Really keen to get some imprinted Carcarodontosauruses. I think they're a little bit better than Gigas, I'm not too sure to be honest. But yeah, it's going to make running Ellie Veins so much easier. Which has definitely been quite a bit of a problem for us because it takes ages to do a 10k with Theries. But for now, I think I'm just going to keep breeding and I'll bring you guys back in if we go on any raids or do anything interesting. <laughs> just wanted to mention before we get into some raids, Vitality Duos is wiping this weekend, January 14th at 12pm CST. All of the details can be found in the description below. We've got almost 1500 slots ready to go this wipe because usually the servers always cap. Cannot thank you guys enough for the support on the Vitality Duo servers. I plan to make a really good series over there so I hope to see you all there. There's a $2000 cluster alpha reward so yeah really big stakes and everything. So that's about it, back with the arc raids. I've kind of just been scouting the center maps, it's pretty much the map I know the most locations on so generally find the most amount of bases here and I've actually found three in the exact same spot. They're all neighbors, they're all coexisting somehow, I'm not too sure how that's happening. There's pretty much a community over here, so Ace and I are gonna raid it all. We're gonna try and get three raids done this episode, but if we only get one or two, then it is what it is. The first base is just down here, just near the water, and uh, yeah, it'd be really, really easy if we had rafts or something so we could just drive up to the base, but we're pretty certain we can just, oh, I did not mean to do that. How the hell do you do that? I have no idea, man. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so before that unfortunate thing happened, as I was saying, that base should be pretty easy to raid with Stegos. So once I got my body back, Ace came over with a fob and we managed to try and raid it together. Cakes in. Let's go. Ah, oh, this doesn't have a weight. Hi. Uh -oh. No, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, yeah, you got this, you got this. Alright, rockets. Wabba! Nice, you got two more turrets on that tower. And they're like, just trying to shoot us both. You can probably just walk straight onto their base now, if you want to. I've got full health and you're over half. I'm gonna put my rockets away for a second. If I can just get this one. Oh, I'm soaking a lot now. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the base this for This one's you. soaked. Yeah, drop down on the base. Go deep, brother. I'm going deep. <laughs> yeah, send it. Oh, man. <laughs> this yeah, is a... This. We get these rockets off. <laughs> yeah. Holy demon. Oh, I'm gonna die if I shoot one more rocket. Yep. That's fine, we're soaking, we're soaking. I might be able to just soak it all, to be honest. Yeah, you probably should. Um, my flak broke too. Definitely should have bought more flak. Yeah. I wasn't looking at my health, I was focused on the, uh, <laughs> the rockets. Everything else. They're soaking, man. There's like three turrets left, two turrets left. Can you whistle your Stego? Yeah, but it's gonna get stuck in the hatch room. It's... Anyways, better than where it is. I'll try and move it out of yeah. there. It's going. Oh, it's actually going. Yeah, sweet. You can stop it there. 
It's actually soaking, like hitting my Stego. What's the bet? This is the kind of guy to have internals. All right, we're in. Nice. What have we got? Some vaults in there. Yeah, it's a good sign. It's kind of a stacked base. You got a lot going on. I'm gonna wait for my what you, what's the name? Wreckage. Wait for my FPS to get better. Babby, what do we got? Fabricator's kind of stacked. Not really, but metal and ARB. It's it's alright. It's not it's all right. bad. You get what you get. You get what you get. Cannot you don't complain. Get upset. I wonder where his body is. True. God damn, more silk and metal. This is just pretty much resources, but... Yeah. That's good, though. It's good. Resources yeah. are definitely very helpful. You get the fridges. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, I didn't see Look that. at this. <laughs> Look at this bag. Oh, carcass. I think their stego line's way better than ours. I don't know if that's leveled or not. I might have been. Man. They got a level 36 female stego. I guess we can clone it. <laughs> zero, zero breed. Like, look at that texture, 34k HP, that's insane. I think they're, yeah, they've got 6.7k. they got rhinos too. This is a juvenile and a 6.7. Their car car is a lot worse than ours, but... Ah, it's a car car though, I can't complain. It's only 100 damage, god damn. <laughs> our, our babies pop out with 235. We actually got such a decent, um, stego line from this. Oh. Magmasaur eggs and a bloodstock egg. No Wait, way. That's an Arthro egg. We got a good Arthro. Oh, let's go. And these Narcos are nice. Those Magmasaur eggs are actually so nice. Can you chuck me some ammo? I've got a better idea to blow these. Can you shotgun them? Yeah. yeah this is way faster. <laughs> Let me get out of the way. <laughs> Parasaur? Hell yeah. Parasaur? That flex, alright. I feel like it's duty, 200 euro. I mean, it's better than primitive. Yeah, it's better than prim. This thing's on like 400 damage a bite, so. You might be here for a little bit, but. <laughs> At least we're saving C4. Yeah. I knew these dudes would have like no ARB. <laughs> They've yeah. got too many turrets for how big their base is. Yeah. What we got? First fault. Fabby. Pretty much nothing. I'll take another Jenny. Gas. Empty cryos. One element. Apparently we have a saddle. Oh, this, one is, this one's unlocked. Huh? Saddles. Oh. What? Ammo. A lot of ammo. Oh, Stegos. Do we get the 47 HP? Sure, yeah. 6.7, that's got to be their line. Apex has got 35k. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. God damn. 6.7 Stegos, not bad. That Carbo is really good as well. 7.7 .7 on 194. If that's not leveled. Okay, lads, I hate to say it, but Tragedy did in fact strike after that raid. Not too sure how long after, but all I know is that I logged back into the base to find it completely gone. We ended up getting meshed by another tribe that used a teleporter to get into the top of our base. And once they were in, they destroyed the tech gen. I didn't get any footage of this because I was offline at the time, so I'm just borrowing some screenshots from Ace. Essentially what they did is they used a pillar to build up on the outside to place the teleporter on, and the admins on the server confirmed that they had destroyed a teleporter mid-raid, just by checking their tribe logs. None of the turrets lost any ammo, and none of them were destroyed either, they were all just left there, so it was pretty obvious it was a meshed job. This is a pretty common mesh tactic on unofficial servers, so yeah, it was a pretty open and closed case. Just something to look out for in the future, I guess. Ace and I have definitely learned from our mistakes, and yeah, I'm going to be doing another series with him sometime in the future. Unfortunately, though, that does mean the end of this series. I hope you guys did enjoy. I've got a solo series I'm really excited about releasing coming very soon, and then after that, I've got some really amazing ideas that I don't think anyone has ever done playing Ark before. So I hope you guys are excited for that, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.